Welcome back to Harvest 24. I'm losing and I don't like losing. I see the new property needs some tree maintenance. Dug out! Look at us, we're all matchy. We're done. Doing our morning workout. Combine drivers. Stretch it out, Brody. I'm ready, but I have no idea what we're doing. I need the Swede. Where's the Swede? We're just all here getting it done. Do you need to seek medical attention? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I might lose my temper. That's a prostate. Uh, you'll find out. <laughs> forward! Forward! That didn't take much. Chet Larson? You never know what we're going to get into, right, Juggle? Ah! You're in the rhubarb! I'm having fun. Good morning. Good morning, guys. It's another beautiful day. Gonna be windy. Oh, I even started my cab. My cab. I started my cab. Started my combine, so it's warm in here. I get my dinner in my fridge. That all staged up for when I need caffeine in about five minutes. All right, plan today. We are heading to some new property. It's our first year farming it. It's had beans on beans for four years. We picked it up from a existing landlord. He's um, slowed down and we ended up with it. So I'm excited to see what the uh, field or those fields do. It should be exciting. We're gonna be down in the area for quite a while. This combine's got a new development where the uh, feeder house sags at night time. I don't understand why Seal seals must be internally leaking. All right, we're taking off. Have you noticed the clay pile getting smaller? Look at that. I was extremely concerned about like what we were gonna do with all that clay again, once again. And if you also notice that is not our payloader there and it's very, very nice. It's the counties. The county is actually looking for clay. For what reason, I have no idea, but they called dad, said, I see you guys got some clay out there. You wouldn't be willing to donate that. And we said, yes, yes, you can have every bit of it. So they have been hauling literally all corn harvest out of here with three, three or four dump trucks. And they've almost got it all hauled away. Where they're hauling it, I have no idea, but does it matter really? No, it's just gonna be gone. Not a fan of this. On a, on a state highway. At least it ain't a Saturday morning or Saturday. Seeming like traffic might be light this morning. I hope so. So we gotta unfold heads on the highway. It's a double-edged sword. I could have sat on the intersection back there and unfolded and got my hopper ready, but then I gotta drive down this road 30 feet wide. Or when I get to the field, I gotta sit and dork around unfolding heads and opening hoppers up. I chose being narrow because I don't like being an obstacle. Brody's pulled into an approach down there in the neighbors to get unfolded. I am here and I'm in an approach. So we've only had four people go by so far in two minutes. Okay, this is interesting. The approach is not at the corner of the field. I was really hoping I could blast in right on the, those rows, but not, not the case. Gotta blast rows sideways. You know, I make this a big deal because it is a big deal to me. We don't often farm on roads like this at all, but those that have to, I feel bad for you. I really do because unfortunately, a lot of people aren't aware that we're slow, we're big, we're gonna make, do maneuvers and have to do maneuvers on the road that people aren't used to. A lot of people aren't used to, if you didn't grow up out in the country, can create danger. And then I'm sure there's a lot of you watching that deal with it every day and think it's not that big of a deal. I don't know. Now I'm biting sideways of the rows. Look at the gearing off, chewing in. I hate doing this, but it's a part of it. All right, I just got word that we gotta leave this field because we're gonna produce and bog us all down right away in the morning because the electrician is currently uh, wiring up the new grain bend drag conveyors and we don't wanna plug the site if something 
gets accidentally turned off. Um, so we're gonna go mess around in a more cut up field just right across the little minimum maintenance road. It's really cut up. Like, here's the field we're in. We're going to this one. So we'll start up in this little jagish area. Corn must have been really good though, because I almost got cat almost, almost is the key word. Got tab corn just breaking through along the fence line for a half a mile. Like she was over the camera and green cards are yelling, you're gonna spill, you're gonna spill. I did not spill that I'm aware of. I see the new property needs some tree maintenance. Dug out, bring the tree maintenance machine. Not gonna fit under that one. Well, we've been in a lot of different fields today and a lot of different conditions. We've been anywhere from 200 bushel field averages, 160 to 20. This one, get to know, but I think it's gonna be maybe the best one of the day. Things are going well. I'm struggling in this variety. This is a different variety. I'm struggling to get cobs out. And the reason I haven't videoed much today is Bushel Plus has been out here all day chasing us, uh, chasing Brody mainly, but I did have him in here with mine or with me working, just you know, trying to give each concave the fairest fight. And I, I will have to admit that the Bushel Plus is, it's kicking butt today. I've got more losses and way more ground up stuff in the pan behind the combine. And we've tried all different settings on, on both machines. Um, I've got a little bit more loss due to the ground up fines coming out. Now, whether it's a whole kernel or ground up fines, it's a loss. Now, no, you maybe don't want the FM, but why are we getting FM? I've tried rotor close, I've tried rotor open, I've tried slow, I've tried fast, I've done every extreme possible, and uh, I'm losing. I'm losing, and I don't like losing. It happens, though, sometimes. So that's my results on the day, and I haven't showed you anything because we're, we could have had three hours worth of trying stuff videotape so I just sum it up in a, in a short little one minute clip here of what we're finding I don't like this uh, friendly com competition is what I called it but I I've worked with the bushel plus guys worked with Estes and I don't want to make anyone look bad because I think they both do a good job but unfortunately today and what we're finding today bushel plus is winning on fines and cobs in the tank and actually losses. Not lying, it's what I'm seeing. I really don't want to throw Estes under the bus, but the truth is the truth, I can't lie. Or actually what I should say is I won't lie because I'm not that way. Anyways, yeah, we're grinding away here. Uh, wetter corn looking like 18 to 20%. Wettest stuff we've been in all season, I believe, I do believe. Morning. I'm trying to choose what vehicle to uh, use for transportation around the yard. I've been using the old, uh, old and trusty because it's so nice out that, um, and it's fast. Slide on, slide off. No uh, doors to rip off in the wind storm that usually is down at the dryer site, but. Uh, I think I'm going to stick to it, so the old four-wheeler it is. Looks like I forgot to put the bobcat away last night. Oh boy, shame on me. Close your eyes, close them. parking down here in between the two grain beds and there's a nice breeze coming through there. A little too dusty up here for it. You know, I don't enjoy washing things just to say I washed them. Try to keep it clean. Speaking of the floor. The floor. I think we're going to have to try to get Mr. Vacuum Cleaner out sometime today. Is that where that went? Oh, yeah. Very much. 
Oh, that's good. That's good. Dryers have been performing. This morning I had some issues with the camera. This one was missing. Had to unplug the big unit up there and and uh, it come back it looks like. So if that's the biggest problem I have today, I can live with it, but we all are spoiled. We sit in here and watch the uh trailers unload so that we know when we need to uh, go out there and open the traps up and clean it out. The only other thing that we could improve on is getting another camera down lower so we can see when the pits are overflowing. I wonder how much that would cost. Might have to do that. That way we could be totally spoiled. Update on the new Brock grain bin. You know, you can't time stuff any bit better. Pick up the camera, and the phone starts ringing. Okay, I'm back with you. Put the fire out. Actually, he's bringing the tractor home. We're gonna throw new air cleaners in it. It is so dry and dusty. I've never, never had a fall where we have so much air filter problems, but uh, it's to be expected, I suppose, when you haven't had very much rain, and no matter what, what you do, where you go, the dust. Now, back to the grain bin. I was going to show you guys the first kernels of corn that come in, dropped in and hit the brand new floor and splash around, bounce around. We were working here with the electricians trying to button up the final, get the copper roof augers wired up and talking to the dryer, automatically shutting off, all of that good stuff. We had it running, the roof auger that is, while we were drying into bend 24, which is this straight west of the new bin, 27, that we call 27. Be darned if the uh, grain pump, double run, wasn't able to grab a few kernels for the hour or two that we were messing around. And the few kernels every once in a while added up to, I say, a few bushels. So now, now I can't video the first kernels because they're already in there. I'll go show you. So now you can see what the first few kernels look like uh, when they hit the floor, but you can't actually watch them come in and bounce around because they're already here. So I had to tie down, as I don't know if you know, we have got Safe Grain has uh, put in their temp cables and all that stuff. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight cables in here. That is going to monitor us, monitor the grain, and tell us if there's any temperature variations and bad things going on. I know what you guys are going to say. I was going to take this out and then drill a hole in this plate and uh, put a bolt in there because I like to have a bolt that stands up about so tall that you got to, of course, remember to take out before you turn your bend sweep on but that way is it if there is ever a big chunk that comes down I've got that bolt when you open and close the door the bolt kind of saws the chunk in half or it gives you some sort of a last chance endeavor okay I gotta go outside here I just really don't want to but I have to so wish me luck for those that want to know what this is, it is a 60 foot by 94 foot high, tall. So that's uh, 230,000 bushels. It's a lot of corn. And that's a long way up there. Okay, I just closed the, the uh, slide door on the conveyor or the double run pump. Let's see. Looking good, working. Did you guys see my new sweatshirt I got on today? Brunt hooked us up with a bunch of new sweatshirts today because, well, fall time is here. We need new sweatshirts. Ours are all shot, oiled up, so we got some new Brunt sweatshirts, and these are super comfy. They're also very, very comfortable, like they're Costello pants. These are very nice. Now it is getting a little bit chilly for the Costello pants, but they are so comfortable I really enjoy wearing them in the combine. Brody and Jordan both are also 
dressed exactly like we're all twins while well, they're wearing green today so tile inlet i'll lay in the footage right now of us this morning unboxing You're matching. We're all matching. <laughs> oh, there we go. This is what we do in the morning. What are up. we doing? Why are we not leaving? I think we should do a morning stretch. Stretch session in the brunts. Look brunt. at us. We're all brunt. matching. Brunt. All brunt pants, Costello pants. We got the brunt hoodies now. Doing our morning workout. Combine drivers. Stretch it out, Brody. Oh. So while we wait for this tile and let to get moved by Jordan here, if you guys want to go to the link in the description, all the information is there if you want to pick up some brunt clothing and try them out. And on where we go. Oh, and that's a, that's a wrap on the day. It's a wrap on the day. It's been, been a good day, been a fun day. Uh, working on new farms is always exciting. You get to learn them, see where drainage needs to be improved. This year, everywhere needs to be improved on every farm. But it's a kind of cool to see the good spots, the bad spots, what we could do better, what we couldn't need to change on the farm. Need some tree trimming. The ditches were clean last fall. Tile. Need some more tile. The name of the season, or this year. So I was checking out the op center here. Looks, They give you a daily summary and a weekly summary. That's pretty cool. That's really sweet. 283.6 acres today. Did not hit our 300 acre goal, but that's fine. That's fine. We had some big banger days at the beginning of the season and now we're getting into cut up stuff. So is what it is. Hopefully our season average is 300. That's our goal. That is our goal. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the today's video. Uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Next up on Larson Farms. Well, we've got an experiment coming in here. This gonna work? I feel unprepared. Why? <laughs>